Python has become one of the most popular programming languages in the world today and learning Python can open so many career opportunities for you. In today's video, I'm going to talk about seven different career paths that you can pursue once you know Python. Towards the end, I will mention one career role which can pay you the most amount of money. Number one is Python backend engineer. I myself worked at Bloomberg for more than 10 years as a Python backend and data engineer. And we were using Python in one of the three ways. Number one is writing a Python backend or a web server that can serve requests coming from some kind of front end. So at Bloomberg, we had this financial application, which will be a website or a mobile app, and that will call a backend to get the required data or to perform some computation. And this backend will be interfacing with some database, let's say MongoDB or MySQL, etc. And for running a business logic, you might be using, along with the basic Python concept, you might be using NumPy, Panda, SciPy, there are tons of Python modules available. So you, you might be using one of those modules and then that Python code will be wrapped in a, a web server. Now for web server, there are three popular uh, Python frameworks such as FastAPI, Flask and Django. So you'll be using these frameworks, writing a backend and that backend could be serving requests to UI or another backend. The second use case is to write a backend that performs some kind of computation. At Bloomberg, for example, we used to get this financial data from stock exchanges. So let's say you get a flat file, which is just a text file where you have company's price and earnings information. Now your goal is to extract information from this file and store it in a database. So you are not only storing price and earnings, but you might be computing derived fields such as price to earning ratio, which is just a division of price and earning. So you would be doing data extraction, data computation, deriving new field. All of this thing will be done in a Python backend. Now this Python backend can be triggered on Unix using a Chrome tab. Chrome tab is more like Windows Task Scheduler where you can say, okay, every day at five o'clock or every one hour, kick off this Python job and it will go to some FTP server, secure FTP server, grab all the files, you know, extract the information, do computation and store it in some database. The third use case was automating a small task using Python script. So we had variety of small tasks that we needed to automate it and we would use Python for that. Python backend engineers get paid really high. The pay scale keeps on changing. That's why I will uh, suggest you few websites which you can check to get an idea on the latest pay scale for Python backend engineers and these websites are payscale.com, glassdoor, levels.fyi and teamblind. If you go to LinkedIn uh, jobs you, and search for Python backend developer, you'll find tons of jobs and these jobs will uh, list all the required skills along with Python. So let's say if you're a Python backend engineer or a full stack engineer, along with Python, you need to know other skills as well. So if you're thinking if this is the right role for you, then the question you need to ask yourself is, do you love coding? Because as a Python backend engineer, you will be doing a lot of coding, okay? So you need to be loving the coding as well as software engineering in general. So if you love both of these things, then Python backend engineer could be a right career for you. The second career role is data engineer. Now let me tell you why this role is very important for organizations nowadays. In last few years, you all know there was a hype of machine learning. Every company and every manager wants to do machine learning so that they can prove to their boss that their group is working on something very cool. For that reason, they started hiring data scientists. Data scientists started building machine learning models, but when they deployed these models to production, these models failed horribly. And the reason was machine learning is all about garbage in and garbage out. So if you're training your model on a wrong type of data, it will not perform well. Companies did not have right amount of data that they needed for ML. And also this data had a lot of errors. So then they started hiring data engineers. Now data engineers role is to make sure they are capturing right amount of data. They're setting data pipelines and they're building data warehouses where there's a good quality data available that can be used by both data analysts and data scientists for analytical as well as machine learning purposes. Data engineers main skills are 
in terms of programming language, it is either Python and Scala. In terms of tools, they could be using Apache Airflow or Apache Spark, variety of databases, SQL and so on. And in terms of cloud offering, they could be using Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, Stream Sets, etc. Data engineers, when they write individual components in, in their data pipelines, they will be using Python and Scala. In Python also, they might be using Pandas, NumPy, etc. modules. Uh, they could be using Apache Spark as well. They also need to be very good in SQL and distributed computing, scalable architecture and so on. So if you're wondering if you should per pursue a role of data engineer or not, you need to ask yourself, do you love coding? First of all, coding is a must. Second thing, cloud tools knowledge, such as Snowflake, Redshift, etc., is also required. And the third thing is general software engineering and data infrastructure principle, where you figure out how you can scale your databases, you know, how you can use a performant architecture. So you need to be very good in software engineering in general for this role. Once again, you can go to LinkedIn jobs and uh, scroll through all data engineering jobs and figure out what kind of skills the companies are asking for this particular role. By the way, on codebasic.io, I have a nice Python course available at a very affordable price and we have implemented end-to-end -end project in healthcare domain. This course is perfect for beginning as well as advanced users. The link of that course is in video description below. The next rule is RPA developer. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. There are companies where they have business processes where you need to download, let's say, data from certain website or a software. Then in the Excel file, you are creating few more Excel columns uh, for doing data crunching. And traditionally, this was done manually by humans. RPA automates this manual task. So you are writing RPA bot, which will automate this uh, manual boring process. And for this purpose, you might be using one of the RPA software such as Automation Anywhere or a UiPath. Now, if you are someone who do not like coding very much, then this role could be a nice fit for you because most of the time you are doing drag and drop in tools such as Automation Anywhere and UiPath and sometimes to automate some small data extraction tasks you have to use Python so you might need some Python scripting knowledge some programming knowledge but it's not like you're using Python all the time. So once again, if you don't like coding too much, then this could be a right role for you. You can explore LinkedIn uh, jobs for RPA developer roles to see what other skills uh, they look for. RPA developers do not get paid as high as other roles. So there is a trade-off. You're doing less coding, but then you're getting less pay as well. The next rule is DevOps engineers. Many companies have this DevOps infrastructure, which is maintained either by full stake engineers or they have a separate DevOps engineer role. Now in this role, once again, for automating manual tasks related to your DevOps engineering, you might be writing Python scripts. Once again, check LinkedIn jobs for various skills which are required for this role. Now let's talk about sexiest job in the recent century, which is data scientist. Yes. For data science, you need either Python or R. Python is extremely popular in data science domain. And as a data scientist, you could be do doing one of the two things, either doing exploratory data analysis using Jupyter Notebook, where you're using Python along with modules such as Pandas, NumPy, SciPy, etc., or you could be writing machine learning model. And for that, you will be using one of the popular Python frameworks such as scikit-learn, TensorFlow, or PyTorch. Data science jobs are booming and it offers a lot of future career growth opportunities. So once again, Python skills are going to be super crucial for this particular role. The next one is one of the popular roles in data science industry, which is data analyst. As a data analyst, you are responsible for doing data cleaning, exploratory data analysis, etc., for which you could be using one of the four main skills, which could be BI tool, either Power BI or Tableau, SQL, Excel, or Python. 
For doing data analysis in Python, you'll be using basic Python along with NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, etc. Now this career role is also for those who do not like coding that much. In this role, I have seen many people from non-tech background, mechanical engineers, HR people, they move to this role where, because here the domain knowledge is important. There are a lot of soft skills such as communication, analytical thinking, etc. are important. And there are certain career opportunities where you don't need to do even coding that much you know by using bi tools drag and drop you can complete your work so it is good career role for you if you don't want to do too much coding and the last one which gets most highest salary is machine learning engineer yes as a machine learning engineer you are responsible for solving business problem using machine learning and machine learning engineers and data scientists are kind of similar but machine learning engineers are more software engineers you know they know about scalability infrastructure they are responsible often for maintaining machine learning infrastructure in the company they know about distributed computing they can even tweak uh, the machine learning models uh, in c++ all right so machine learning engineers are more heavy on a software engineering and ml side whereas data scientists uh, could be more on a business side and they know ml but from the applied uh, standpoint i hope that give you a good understanding on various career roles available for you if you learn python once again check my affordable course on codebasics.io to get started with python today